The most important historic site in Atlanta isn't a church, it isn't a park, it isn't a building. It's not the zero mile post, it's Peachtree Road. I know you're thinking, duh, but trust me, it's not where you think it is and just follow my logic. My name is Thornton Kennedy and I write a weekly column on local history in the Northside neighbor. I am in Loudermilk Park or the Buckhead Triangle. This is where Peachtree Road, Roswell Road, and Pace's Ferry Roads all intersect, creating the five points of Buckhead. But when the state created Peachtree Road in 1813, there was no city of Atlanta. So Peachtree would not have continued south at this point. In 1813, the United States was involved in a war with the Muscogee people, known as the Red Stick War. There was a substantial Muscogee village called Standing Peachtree at the confluence of the Chattahoochee River and Peachtree Creek. It was there that the state of Georgia built a military fort called appropriately Fort Peachtree. It is where we get Peachtree Road, but you already knew that. Peachtree Road was actually a military supply route connecting Fort Daniel in Gwinnett County with Fort Peachtree on the Chattahoochee River. I was always told that Peachtree was an old Indian trail, but we know that the Muscogee were known as the Creek because they lived along waterways and they traveled along waterways. Therefore, it wouldn't have made much sense for them to build a path along a ridgeline, which Peachtree Road is on. No, the state created the road. A historic marker in Gwinnett County confirms this. It reads, at Fort Daniel on Hog Mountain, about 12 miles northeast, began the original Peachtree Road to the village of Standing Peachtree on the Chattahoochee River. This old road was open to haul military supplies to the river. These were to be floated downstream to General Jackson's and General Floyd's troops, converging on Indians in the Creek Wars of 1813 and 1814. Built in late 1813 or early 1814, Fort Daniel, a stockade, was the extreme western point in Georgia. All land to the west and northwest was Indian country. Peachtree Road originally came to where I am now and then curved in a westerly route. And if you want to follow with me, it would go down West Paces Ferry Road, past the governor's mansion, and then jog in a southwesterly direction, Moore's Mill Road. And you would go down Moore's Mill Road to where it intersects with Ridgewood Road, which is near the confluence of the Chattahoochee River and Peachtree Creek. That is where the village of Standing Peachtree was, and that is where Fort Peachtree was. So Peachtree Trail is still very much here today, right under our noses. It's just known by several different names. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, just post them below and I'll get to them when I can.